It's an amazing medical breakthrough. Doctors have transplanted a pig heart into a person. Experts say it could be a game changer that could eventually save thousands of people on transplant waiting lists. Dr. Max Gomez explains how doctors did it. He simply didn't want to die. Doesn't want to die. That's the remarkable mindset that led David Bennett, a 57-year-old Maryland handyman and father, to volunteer for an extraordinary medical experiment. Today, he's awake and recovering days after a seven-hour surgery to replace his diseased heart with the heart of a genetically modified pig. This pig heart has performed so far very well, uh, even beyond our expectations. Bennett was dying of end-stage heart failure, but ironically, he was too sick to qualify for a human transplant. He was out of options. My dad's prognosis early on was very, very, very bad. That's why his son said Bennett agreed to the experimental procedure, despite a slim chance of success. This was his best hope of getting out of the hospital and having somewhat of a normal quality of life. He said, I don't want to die. And he said, if I do, maybe you'll learn something to help others. There have been prior attempts to transplant an animal organ into a human, including baby Faye in 1984, who lived with a baboon heart for three weeks. But those failed because the body rapidly rejects organs from other species. This time, the pig that supplied the heart went through gene editing to remove markers on the cells that alert human immune systems to trigger rejection. We're learning a lot every day with this gentleman. And uh, so far, um, we're happy with our decision to move forward. And he is as well. A big smile on his face today. Most of these so-called xenotransplants are using pigs because of their ready availability and because their organs most closely match humans in size and function. As for animal welfare, ethicists say using pigs to produce meat is much more problematic than using them to save lives. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Wow. Dr. Max tells us there are more than 100,000 people currently on organ transplant waiting lists. Almost 8,000 of them die each year when they don't get a transplant in time. That is just mind-blowing science right it there. It is. We'll have to keep track of his progress. No doubt. That's